tonight about acceptance. We tried before the show to interview him about public speaking and his performance tonight, but he refused to cooperate, as you will hear from this brief transcript of the interview. So James, what is your favourite part of public speaking? You're getting nothing from me. What are you doing with those pliers? <laughs> After a brief visit to the dentist, here is James Appleton. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here this evening to talk about a topic that is ever in the news in this century. Acceptance. Now, what is acceptance? Acceptance, the social act of allowing or tolerating something to happen. In this day and age, everyone talks about what is right and what is wrong. Yet how is this defined? What actually makes something right and something immoral? Is it what you personally think? What the government tells you is right? Your social group? Or the entire population? Just because someone tells you something is acceptable, is it? Throughout history, and even in the world today, there have been literally thousands of theories and doctrines that cultures have adopted, which then contradicted the next civilization. For instance, the Romans were experts at the amalgamation of local culture and religion with their own. As in the case of Aquasulis, modern day Bath, which was named by the Romans after the Celtic god Sulis. <coughs> From the Greeks, all the way up to the empires of the 19th century. Society has had varied opinions and cultures. However, they are all adamant that what they do is right and what everyone else does is wrong. Yet, because everyone says this, no one is sure who is actually right. Around 2,000 years ago, the Roman Empire was the peak of civilization. Yet, in hindsight, we would consider them to be a barbaric and bloodthirsty people. We all knew they had bloodthirsty gladiator fights to the death. If we tried to introduce gladiator fights into the 21st century, it would be horrible and repulsive. Yet, go back in time, and it was a normal piece of everyday life. No more alien nor vile than going into the theatre or eating out. How is it that what one civilization considers to be the norm is completely abhorrent to almost everybody, set free, and sometimes even rising to positions of power in Roman society? In the southern states of the United States of America, Slaves were treated worse than animals. A Roman citizen had rights whatever ethnic group he was from. Yet coloured people in South Africa and South USA had little to no rights whatsoever. Another aspect of acceptance would be religion and how the message of religion is conveyed. Modern religion is all about peace and equality and is against the law to discriminate or to cause harm to members of the other religion. However, during periods such as the Crusades, it was actually a crime not even nowadays, there are telltale signs of us, as human beings, not being able to accept difference on a subconscious level. <coughs> there are instances, especially in the gaming world, where the United States military starts as the good guys, and the Russians as the bad guys. America hasn't ever actually been at war with Russia, and the Cold War was over evil, ugly, pretty, polite, rude. But each person has a different way of judging the two apart. So some will still be caught up in the past, simply because they cannot accept what the new generation does. Because what